Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, my name is Emma Rose and welcome to my channel. So if you guys couldn't already tell, I'm going to be transforming myself into a brat doll. So this look was actually inspired by Dope2111 and she done such an amazing tutorial guys, please check her out. If you want to see how I achieved this brat doll look, then please keep on watching. <laughs> I'm going to start off this look by applying my LA Girl foundation with a beauty blender. I'm now going to be using Cause Washable Glue and I'll be applying this onto my eyebrows. So this has actually been one of my biggest fears, applying glue onto my eyebrows. Just because I always felt like I'd have to end up shaving off my eyebrow in order to take off the glue. But anyway, I'm finally getting over my fear. Oh, and FYI, it does come off with, you know, a normal makeup remover. You don't need any special products. So you're going to be applying a lot of this glue. And I would recommend applying the glue and pushing the hairs up with the spoolie. And, you know, just waiting for the glue to dry. And then reapplying the glue and brushing the hairs up once again. As I didn't wait for the glue to properly dry, my eyebrow hairs, you know, would just start sticking out one by one throughout the tutorial. So I do recommend letting it dry for a bit. You now need to use a translucent powder and I recommend applying a lot of this with a beauty blender onto your brows in order to set the brows and you're literally going to use a lot, a lot, a lot of powder. I'm now going back to my foundation and I'll just be applying this all over my brows. Okay guys, so I have never seen what I'd actually look like without eyebrows and can I just say I look like a replica of an egghead. This look is not for me. I'm now using my Too Faced concealer and I'm going to apply this under my eye, my nose and of course on top of my eyebrows. And of course, somehow, somehow a big clump of concealer just falls on me. Okay, now that really did hurt. <laughs> so after a 10 minute break whilst my eye was recovering, I continued to blend out the rest of the product. I'm now using my powdered MAC foundation just to set everything and I'll be applying this all over my face. I'm now using my Morphe eyeshadow primer and I'm applying this all over my lid. I'm now using my Be Perfect eyeshadow palette and I'm using the shade Vex and I'll be applying this onto my eyebrows as this area is now going to become our new cut crease. I'm now going back to my Too Faced concealer and I'm going to be cutting the hugest cut crease ever. I'm now going back to my Be Perfect palette and I'm using the bright pink shade all over the lid. Now with this face paint, I'm going to be using the white shade and creating bigger eyes. Well, creating the illusion of bigger eyes. After outlining the eye, I'm then going to colour in the rest of the eye with the white paint. And here you guys have both eyes completed. I'm now going to be using green paint and I'm going to be creating a smaller circle just underneath my eye in order to create bigger looking eyes. I'm now using the black paint and I'm just going to be outlining the green paint. I'm now going to be using the blue paint and I'm just going to be applying this a bit on top of the green paint, you know, just to try kind of recreate my eye colour. Because I have no idea what my eye colour is, like I always get confused, sometimes blue, sometimes green, sometimes grey, it just changes on its mood. 
I'm now going back to my Be Perfect palette and I'm using the shade Vex. And we're going to be applying this right underneath the white paint in order to create a shadow and make it look lifelike. I'm then just going to blend this shade out. I'm now using my L'Oreal eyeliner pen and I'm going to be doing a huge winged liner. And I'm also going to be using the eyeliner pen just under my eyebrow, you know, just to give an illusion of a cut crease. I'm now going to be placing this paint on top of the shading under the white paint. And also under my recreated eyeball. I'm now going back to the Be Perfect palette and I'm using the shade Vex again and I'll be applying this along my outer V in order for this area to have more shadow and you know give it more of an elongated eye look. I'm now using a white eyeliner and I'll be applying this onto the corner of my recreated eyeball. I'm now using the black paint to draw on Brat's eyelashes so I firstly started off by drawing thin lines where I wanted the eyelashes to be placed and I gradually started making them thicker in the form of the Brat Stoll eyelashes. And now you're going to be doing the same with your lower lashes. I'm now using my Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliner. I'm just going to be applying this glitter underneath the black paint. And I will then be applying a bit of this glitter eyeliner on my lid. I'm now using my Benefit Eyebrow Pencil to vaguely draw on where I want my eyebrow to go. Now going back to my paint palette, I'm going to be using the brown shade to start creating the eyebrow. And as the shade came out fairly light, I then went in with the black paint and I just slightly went over the brown and I also done light strokes in order to make it look more like hairs. I'm now using my Too Faced Mascara and I'll be adding a bit of this onto my lashes. I'm now going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to be using the first dark shade to contour the sides of my nose. And guys, we're going to try and make a really teeny tiny nose, of course, because Brat dolls are known to have very tiny, tiny noses, like practically invisible. I'm now going back to the palette and with the lighter shade, I'm going to be applying this on the sides of my nose and just slightly over the darker shade, as this will create the illusion of a smaller nose. I'm now going to be using my highlighter and I'm going to be placing this on the bridge of my nose and we're also going to be applying a lot of this onto the tip. Now using the lip liner we're going to create the most exaggerated overlined lip so we're going to be recreating the form of the Brat Stoll's lip and then filling it out with the lip liner. And now I'm going to be applying a red lipstick on top of the lip liner. And just for a bit more precision, I'm going to be using a brush to apply the red lipstick more thoroughly.
I'm now going to be using my Studio 10 Gloss in order to make the lips stand out more and make them look even bigger. And here you have it guys, the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys!